Hey guys, this is uh, Theo VK5MTM. I'm uh, going to do a quick overview of the uh, Chinese KVE60C uh, antenna analyzer. Um, mainly because this is, I think, it's a, still a fairly new product online, and there's well, there was nothing on YouTube that I could find about it. Now, this particular one belongs to a friend of mine who was kind enough to let me uh, uh, borrow it so I could uh, test it out and decide whether I wanted to buy it or not so uh, yeah, and I thought while I've uh, got it here I'll do a bit of a video and you know let you guys know what it's like and uh, yeah I think it's pretty cool so uh, yeah that's basically why I'm doing this um, so uh, you can source these for about $280 uh, US this one I believe came from 409 shop. I've got nothing to do with 409 shop. I've got nothing to do with the manufacturer of these, but I thought I'd uh, just uh, let you know what they're like. We'll plug an antenna into it. I've got to warn you, I've got a really dodgy BNC uh, adapter here. And it will probably fall apart while I'm doing this review. This is a HF version, the um, VHF and UHF version has just been released as well, only in the last week. It does the, uh, it's a, it goes for the same price, but this is the yeah, KVE60C, uh, 0.5 megahertz to uh, 60 megahertz. And I've just got it connected to my uh, homebrew off-center fed dipole, 40 through 10 meter. It turns on like that. And uh, let's you put your call sign in there. Little battery indicator in the uh, top corner here. Here's just another screen displaying the system info. I can do a single scan. Um, and the button at the top just lets you control everything. So I know my dipole is resonant on 14.2 megahertz. And that's where I made it for. And... Uh, hit start and it gives you a single sweep like that so at that frequency my SWI is about 1.1 and uh, the penis is about 52 ohms or thereabouts so uh, we can hit stop and hit return basically I can then do a, a full scan if I like so basically Again, I will pick center frequency of 14.2 megahertz, and then down the bottom you can pick your uh, the span of the sweep. And uh, so basically, that's done by doing hitting this button here. So it will span up to 48 meg if you want. 300k. I'll pick 600k, and uh, hit scan. And there we go. So 14.2 is 1.1 to uh, SWR, and then I can uh, I can move the center frequency just by turning the little knob. Just by turning the knob, I can move the center frequency. So uh, you know, and I and I can tell it. You know, 14 megahertz flat, 20 meters flat is 1.34 uh, SWR. No, I can go all the way back up. So uh, that's that there. I can adjust the sweep. I can hit. Um, I've never done anything like this before, guys. So if I don't cover everything, sorry. I can hit return. Uh, change the sweep to. Uh, let's go 24 meg. And uh, let's change, let's hit scan now. That's me bumping it. Let's try again. It's my dodgy uh, BNC adapter again. So there you can see the uh, the dip at 14 meg, the off center for dipole. That's uh, supposed to be. 7 meg there, it's a bit high but it's about 1.8 SWR or 10 meters, 28 megahertz 
and there's a dip there actually 28 is off the chart I didn't sweep high enough sweep so uh, if I hit return scan change the span change my center frequency Figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, let's hit scan there and see what happens. So, you know, 28.500, 1 1.43 SWR, 6 meters, somewhere up here. I need to scan it again, but anyway, for those who uh, wanted to see what this thing looks like, it's basically it there. I've only used it a couple of times. I think it's pretty cool, and I will be getting one myself. And uh, yeah, so if I wanted to scan, let's say, let's go 10 meters, do a 10 meter scan, I'll change my center frequency to uh, 28. let's say 28.4. Okay. Anyway, we can also uh, try 7 megahertz. Uh, let's change this back down to... Let's go 7.1. 600k sweep. Let's see what we get. Anyway, that's my uh, dodgy review or overview. The device works really well, and it's got a pretty cool screen on it. And um, that's basically it. So if, if anyone is interested what the thing looks like, it's basically it there, fits nicely into my hand. And uh, yeah, there we go. Anyway. Hope that helps if you are considering on buying a uh, antenna analyzer. Uh, I quite like this one. I was going to look at the um, UKITS FG01, but uh, I think uh, I like this one because of its size. And uh, yeah, 73, and sorry for the dodgy review. This is uh, VK5MTM.